A woman wearing sensual clothes approaches a couple sitting at a dinner table. She shows them a considerable amount of money and tells the wife that she wants to give her money to sleep with her husband. The wife asks what she's on about. The cheeky woman says that she can pay $10,000 if she wants. The man's wife tells him to stop looking at the woman's leg and pay attention to what she's saying. The man says that $10,000 is a good amount of money and tries to convince his wife to let him sleep with her so they can pay their bills. The wife says that she doesn't believe that he's even thinking about it. She says that she doesn't want any of that money. The husband keeps trying to convince his wife. The sensual woman raises her offer to $20,000 so they can give her the final decision. The wife tries to tell the woman to get out, but her husband interrupts and tells her to think wisely. The sensual woman then raises her offer to $50,000. The man says that he needs to talk to his wife in private for a second. In private, he asks his wife if she's mental to refuse such an offer. The wife says that he's the mad one to try to betray her like that. She says that she's not stupid. Her husband says that he only wants the best for them. He says that they can use that money to improve their financial situation and give their kid a decent education. The wife says that he's such a greedy moron. She asks if he really understands what that would involve. The husband tells her to open her eyes and see the amount of money she's offering them for something so normal and insignificant. His wife says that she knows exactly what he really wants. He says that he wants to do it for them. She says that he's such a greedy idiot. She asks if she's not enough for him. He tells his wife, Maria, that love isn't enough to survive. She asks if he really wants to do it just to get the money. He says that, of course, he's only doing it for money. His wife orders him to look her in the eyes and swear that he really means it. The woman warns the couple that time is running out and offers them $100,000. The man tries to convince Maria to let him sleep with the woman because it might be a great chance to change their lives forever. Maria says that he didn't look her in the eyes to promise that he wasn't doing it to please himself. The husband tells his wife that he loves her and that nothing is going to change that. The sensual woman tells them to hurry up and make their decision. Maria agrees to let her husband do it. He then leaves her behind and approaches the sensual woman. The woman asks the man about his decision. He says that he accepts her offer. The woman asks if his wife agreed to let him do it. The man says that she's okay with it. The woman gets up and grabs the man's shirt. Maria sees it and approaches the table. The woman says that she now knows what kind of man he is. She says that he is the kind of man who's capable of betraying the woman who thinks the world of him. The woman who had a child of his own and that he doesn't even care about. She tells Maria to open her eyes and understand the class of man she's married to. The man tells the woman that she can't talk to him like that and that she was the one who tried to seduce him. The woman says that it's totally his fault. Maria asks the strange woman what she's trying to achieve. She asks if she's trying to make her look stupid or something. The red-haired woman says that she actually wants to give that money to her and her son if she agrees with her conditions. Maria asks about the conditions. The woman says that she's going to give her the money if she leaves her husband. She says that she knows it's best for her and leaves. Maria sits next to her husband, holding the money. The husband begs his wife to think twice before making that decision because she loves her. He says that they've got the money and that the woman wouldn't know that she's still with him. Maria says that she's really sorry to hear it in an ironic voice. She grabs the money and leaves the man behind. He punches the table and starts to regret his choice.